Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric. Today I am checking out this really cool solar powered electric bicycle battery charger from Quiet Cat. Not gonna make you sit through anything long here and drawn out, let's get to opening. Got a box in a box, kind of nesting doll situation here. Okay, well that was pretty simple unboxing. Just now it's time for the unbagging. Man, that was the easiest unboxing I've ever done. All right, here's our solar panel. Let's see, so we've got, uh, looks like our electronics on the outside. We've got our two USB-A ports here. We also have a DC barrel connector. So that's probably for the main battery out charging. Let's check out the specs, uh, 150 watts, 54.6 volts, 2.75 amps. So this is gonna be a little bit more powerful than the standard two amp charger that comes with most 48 volt batteries. All right, let's unfold this sucker. Whoa. Hope I'll know how to fold this back up. It's gonna be like a roadmap soon. <laughs> oh man, look at the size of this thing. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. So the cool thing is it was actually like quite a small package when it was folded up. All right, so there's our solar panel. We have no wires or plugs, probably in the bag here. All right, ah, here we go. Pile of plugs and the instructions and a couple carabiners. Uh, so the carabiners are probably for hooking onto these corners here. So if you want to hang it up and get a better angle for the sun. Like right now it's a bit earlier in the morning. The sun's at maybe like a 50-ish degree angle. So the better way to charge with this would be to hold it at a bit more of an angle like this. So you could actually like hang this on something. All right, see what kind of wires we got here. All right, so here we've got a three pin plug to a DC barrel plug. These three pins are pretty common with a lot of battery types. See here we've got our standard DC barrel to DC barrel. These are probably 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter. That's pretty common in the e-bike space. Here we've got alligator clips to a DC barrel plug. And these are these standard, I don't remember what these are called, but these are your standard solar panel plugs to that DC barrel. And uh, yeah, this looks like, is this eight millimeter? I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure if that's five or eight. All right, so let's see what battery I have here today. All right, so here I've got a 48 volt battery and I believe QuietCat has a 52 volt version of this if you've got a 52 volt pack. And right, so let's make sure this plugs in here. Yep, all right, so we got that squared away. Now let's scooch this forward a bit. All right, so now we got to plug into, oh, and I see there's a red light now that's turned on on this box. So that probably means that we're good to go here. We're getting solar power. All right, so I'll plug that in and I'm charging. So that's pretty awesome. I'm out here in the middle of a park. There's no plugs for probably a mile in any direction. And I'm charging my electric bike battery just straight from the sun. Now at 2.75 amps, this thing is gonna take probably uh, about four hours or so to charge this battery, assuming I'm getting peak power. Usually with these solar panels, you know, if they're rated for say 100 watts, you're probably gonna get somewhere around 75 during most average conditions. Rarely you're gonna get the actual peak output unless they've rated this, you know, more realistically for real world power. Most of the time those ratings are sort of ideal conditions in a lab, but for our use here where we're just trying to charge out here in the field and we don't have any other option, this is a really nice and compact setup to be able to charge your batteries. And when you're out camping or hunting or, you know, anywhere out in the field and you don't have a place to plug in, 2.75 amps is a lot better than zero. A lot of e-bikes don't even come with a 150 watt charger. Lots of times they come with a 100 watt charger. So you're already getting more power than a lot of bikes will give you right out of the box. All right, now I'm curious how hard this is going to be to fold back up. So I think it went this way. And then I think from the end it rolled up. Oh uh, no, we accordion like that. Okay. Oh, I think I got it first try. Well, that was a lot easier than I was thinking it would be. All right, not bad. And then I like this carry case here. Let's stick all the cables back in it. Oh man, look at that. That actually went together really well. I thought that was gonna be harder to get back together, but it actually packs up better than I expected. So as far as this goes, I think it's a pretty awesome piece of kit. Now it is pretty expensive. I think it's something like 750 bucks. So you're paying out the wazoo for the ability to charge off grid. But if you don't have any other option, you know, you just don't have a plug around and you're in the middle of the field like this, then this would be a pretty cool way to charge. Just know it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you liked checking out that solar powered e-bike charger. 
Last but not least, before we go, it is time to announce the randomly selected commenter that will win a free book from the giveaway at the end of my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... Anna Anderson. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or my newest book, The Electric Bike Manifesto. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you'd like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. If you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you here next time. Man, these birds are killing me.